stopping by the channel. My name's Leah. And let's get into some drama. So supposedly, y'all, they have finally canceled Shards of Sunset. <laughs> After nine seasons, it, it's been time. It's been time. But TMZ reported it earlier today, and I wanted to talk about it with y'all. So let's get into this off like this. After nine years on the air, well, not nine years, nine seasons. This probably is nine years. After nine seasons on the air, Shards of Sunset has gotten the ax. But all might not be lost for some of the cast members who still have some sort of future with the network. Production sources tell TMZ the Bravo show simply ran its course after first airing in March 2012 and a decision has been made to end it. There is something promised. Uh, there are there's some promising news amidst the cancellation. However, our sources are saying that some of the Shah's OGs, such as Reza, MJ, and Glonessa, are all in early talks for a potential future project with the network. If you didn't know, Shots of Sunset follows a group of Persian Americans as they navigate their social lives and careers in Los Angeles, all while trying to meet the demands of their families and their Shots traditions. Their series premiered with controversy concerning growth within the Iranian American community that the show would promote a very stereotypical message to the world. Cast members have said the series portrays a more Americanized version of Persians, comparing their likenesses to savage, savage uh, depictions of modern films um, like 2012's Argo. Ooh, I guess that was the end of the article. That's a short article, y'all. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, so they're canceling it. I I ain't gonna lie. It's been about time. Low-key, I didn't think it premiered in 2012. I thought it premiered way before then, but who am I? It's been time. I think seasons one, I want to say seasons one all the way to four were good. Like, because they were fresh to bravo and we were fresh to them so it was like nice to get a different vibe as it pertains to another community that we don't normally see on reality tv but it just got dark like it got so dark especially with the feud between reza and mj and when they got the police involved and then they people were just saying nasty and out-of-pocket things to each other and y'all know y'all could google it mike done got arrested um, supposedly he was in a, a domestic violence situation. So I'm like, honestly, for him, that's a good thing. He was already fraudulent to begin with, but at least he doesn't have to be on TV reliving that, making it way worse than him and the girl that's involved, which is his fiance. But yeah, I'm okay with them going bye-bye. It's, it's, it, we're good over here. So we got the fashions for Real Housewives of New Jersey. It's meh. It's very meh. Like, I guess the theme was gold and, and sparkles because I don't, <laughs> I don't like nobody's outfit that much. But y'all know we always, I always go through and give y'all my thoughts on who I think is best dressed and worst dressed. And like I've been saying, I like the fact that with Jersey, Jersey Potomac and Real Housewives of Atlanta, there's always like a monochromatic theme or a color theme. Like last year with Potomac, we had pink and then the year before that they had yellow with atlanta it was black and i think the year before that it was white and then with um with jersey it was it was white and then i think the year before that it was similar to something like that so like i like when they all look like not look the same but follow the same color pattern so i guess this year like i said it was like gold so first up is Teresa. i think the pantsuit is cute um it's strapless it got the little reflective stuff um it's nice it's nice it's no it's not wowing me but it's not ugly to the point where i'm like girl why did you put that on her hair looks good i just hate that they make Teresa's makeup so dark around her eyes but all in all she looks great next is jen i actually think jen looks really good i don't like her shoes i think her shoes are a different color but like a silver color but i do like the feathers like so what Jen has on is what I expect when people say they're going to do feathers. Like, it's not a lot of feathers, but it's enough to where it's like an accent piece. Like, what Meredith had on and what, what's her name? Yzma. 
Jen. What Jen had on, it was too much. It, it, it overshadowed them. This is cute. It's a nice hint of like, you know, accent of the feathers. And Jen looks good. She looks good. I like her hair. I like the little Chanel earrings. She looks good. Is it like, oh my God? No, but it's still a cute outfit. Then we got Dolores. I don't like Dolores' shoes. Body looks amazing. Dolores went to the right doctors. A lot of people can, between Dolores and Marlo, a lot of the peoples can learn from them. Like, especially like people in my, in my, the people that like me who are in their 20s who be getting surgery. Learn from these ladies because these women are like either about to be in their 50s or trudging up, like are in their 40s. But when they go get surgery, it, it looks realistic. Like Dolores looks good. The, the breasts look good. The slit looks, she looks good. Hair looks good. She look good. This money well spent and it don't look like a, she don't look like a cartoon character. Then Melissa. This look like a piece J-Lo rejected. <laughs> I swear Melissa thinks she's J-Lo. She looks good too. Her body looks great. Um, I wish her shoes would have had something. I think what, like, so this outfit is very, like, I don't want to say, no, it is. It's basic. It's just two towels of fabric. I feel like she should have had, like, either a nice, like, accent of, like, a hair piece or her hair should have been extra or her shoes should have been extra. But her body looked good and she looked good. Then it's Margaret, a.k.a. Margarita. I don't like, I, whoever did this picture is mean because her makeup around her eyes are too dark. It's it's too dark. The dress looks nice on Margaret. It's giving me very like 1920s like flappers. Like the way it, it gives me great gaspy. If anybody is tracking what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, I wish she would have did something else with her hair. I like when Marge wears extensions. Something about long hair on Margaret, it it just works better for her than the shortcut. But, like, she doesn't look bad. She looks great in this outfit. It's just, it's not a wow. Then we have Jackie. I don't really like this. I don't. I think she looks good, but her makeup is too dark, too. Like, all of them look like they got raccoon eyes. Just dark. Um... I kind of like the dress and I kind of don't. She has this mesh at the bottom. And I feel like if you're going to do mesh, do I, I do mesh throughout the whole entire outfit or just a little. But she doesn't look bad. She looks really good. I just, it's not wowing me. None of these are wowing me. They just look like basic outfits that they would wear in the season. And then you got Tracy. Tracy look a mess. Tracy looks a complete mess. Like why, Tracy? Her hair is a no, the makeup is a no, and the dress does nothing for her. Like, she's a small lady, and, like, they did not, like, what's the word I'm looking for? They didn't um cinch it to, like, she cause she should have a cinch waist. It just looks like a straight-up pole. And she's not a bad-looking lady, so, so I just don't like this outfit. <coughs> all in all, if I had to give someone, like, best dress, I feel like Jennifer would be my best dress because I actually like what she has on. I think it's cute. Um, I'll give it to you. I think Jennifer and Melissa look like look the best. Um, worst dress is automatically Tracy, but it's not horrible. It just does nothing for them. Honestly, everybody's look is very like, okay, we tried. We here. Let's do this reunion and then let's go home and go get cannolis or something. You know, <laughs> let's let's go get some some spaghetti or something. Other than that, it's it's ugh. But they all look good. Like nobody looks like horrible. Whereas like Salt Lake City and Orange County, everybody's outfit except Shannon's looked horrible. This I'm like okay, y'all look nice. It's decent. We basically getting to see. Because it's, it's, it's average. It's below average. Because this is average for y'all. But yeah, y'all, those are my thoughts. That's it. That's all. Remember to be bravely authentic. Drop down in the comments below. What do y'all think about their outfits? What, the ladies' outfits? Like, who's your best dress? Who's your worst? And what y'all think about showers getting canceled? Are y'all, like, upset? Do you even care? Because you might not care. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that's it. Again, that's all. Remember to be bravely authentic. Drop down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Deuces.